It could be the name of the product. Uh, if you're planning to sell multiple products on your site, then it would be ideal to name it that way. And once you do that, you're going to have a group. And then when you go back to the product, anybody who purchases it, you have to make sure that's the right group selected. Okay. So you go to select, you make sure it's the right group and that's, that's how it works. So basically whenever somebody pays for the product, they'll be automatically zoned into this group. And really the way that works is they're going to be, if they're in the group, then they're going to have the credentials or the allowance that the website system will allow them to actually see the content. Just because they have an email and password doesn't mean they'll be able to access the course. They could get access denied because they're not in the right group. So let's say you're selling four different courses. Each course member is going to be in a different group. If there's a customer who purchases two, three courses from you, then what they can do is they're going to be in different groups, but all together. So let's say Ricky buys course one, two, and three. They're going to be in groups one, two, and three. And it's smart to name the group after the course that you have. In my case, there's only one course on the website, so it's going to be paid course students. You, you understand? So now that that's taken care of, we have to actually connect the payment button to the actual product. So how do we do that? First, we go to the landing page. Then we select on the button. And when we select the button, we go over here and we have to route it to a checkout. So how do we route it to a checkout? We have to create the checkout page. So first, we have two options. We can create a whole entire page for checkout or we can create a pop-up. I personally like pop-up and I'll create a pop-up and I'll go over here to checkout and I'll select any one of these. So let's just say I pick this one. Okay. So the pop-up will look something like this, but I have to determine what product is going to be in the pop-up. So I'll click on the pop-up and I'll click products and I'm going to select the product. So in my case, I only have one product, the fitness coaching program. I'll select it and I'll hit confirm. And now that that's the case, you notice how this automatically turned to $9 and says bank transfer. Cause this is the only type of, of payment method that I have available. Does that make sense? And I'll hit save in my, in your case, if you connected PayPal, you could do PayPal. If you've connected Stripe, whatever, it will all show here. And then we're asking them for their full name, email address, password, and notice the reason why it's asking for the password to set a password is because we selected members, which is important or membership for the course sec section. If we were selling a physical product, they don't necessarily need to set a password. It's an option, you know, but for a course you have to, because how else are they going to log in and access the content? So this is the pop-up. All right. And I'm going to click show on. And I'm not going to click any of these because I don't want this to automatically pop up. What I want to do is I want to have somebody click the button and then have the pop-up show. Does that make sense? So the pop-up settings, first thing, I'm going to change the name of the pop-up. I'm going to call this the fitness coaching payment pop-up. Okay, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything else. And I'm going to hit save just like this. And I'm going to hit X. Now, if I click on this menu and I go to pop-ups, there my pop-up is. So now all I have to do is connect my button to my pop-up. So I'll go over here and select the button. I'll hit edit link and I will go to pages or excuse me, pop-up and I will select the proper pop-up. In my case, I only have one pop-up that actually matters. These other ones don't matter. This is the only pop-up that matters. I'll hit select and I'll hit save. Now, if I go ahead and view my website and test it, and I click order now, boom, the pop-up appears. You see how that works? So very simple. Once the people pay, what's gonna happen? They hit complete order. It's gonna take them to the thank you page. Remember when we set the thank you page, which is in our store? I'll show you how we set it once again. So products, the product here, we scroll down, and boom, custom thank you page. That is this page, this body weight exercises content page is the exact same page as the very first page that I showed you how to create inside the course. So course content, this page, this is the exact page they're going to be taken to. And this page has all the links, everything that they need to get access to in order to access the course. So they'll be able to access the other pages that we've created from this page. 
okay? As long as they all have the same menu, which, once again, we showed how to do that. So you guys have literally achieved greatness today. You've achieved how to create a course from absolute scratch, a members area from absolute scratch, how to create a landing page from absolute scratch. The amount of knowledge you took from this video is thousands of dollars, literally thousands of dollars without exaggeration. Not only can you do this for yourself, but you can do this as a service for other people as well. The nice thing about Rocket Web Builder is that it's very easy for beginners to learn how to use. You know, it takes literally minutes to, to get comfortable with. As opposed to other platforms, you're talking like web, WordPress, very uncomfortable. You have to pay for extra software. And speaking of money, when you talk about other platforms, right, other course building platforms, you have to pay extremely high fees for those platforms. And sometimes that can be very difficult on a beginner seller or a beginner business owner. All right, guys. So if you set up your landing pages as clean as we set them up today and, and you did everything here properly, you guys are going to blow the competition out the water. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure, by the way, leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, I'll see you soon.